Hello students, I am Mom Rose. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell for you to be updated on my upcoming videos. Happy learning! In this video, you will learn how to graph parabola given a general equation. We have here number 1. Notice that y is raised to 2. That means to say all terms with variable y will be placed on the left side. That's y squared plus 12y is equal to the rest of the terms will be placed on the other side. So from negative 5x, it became positive 5x and we just copied negative 16. Now we will copy first everything before we complete the square. Focus on the middle term, 12 divided by 2 is 6, 6 squared is 36. Also write that one on the right side to maintain the equality symbol. And we can factor this out now, y plus 6 quantity squared and then negative 16 plus 36 is positive 20. Now we will first factor out 5 here since it is common. So 5 quantity what's left is x. 20 divided 5 is 4. And this is our standard form. Since we already have the standard form, we will just look at the choices here. As you can see, it is very similar to this form here. So that means to say, our vertex is HK, where our H is, that's plus 4, but in the form it's minus 4. So we make it negative 4 because negative times negative is positive. Same with K, that will become negative 6. And our parabola opens to the right. So we will plot first our vertex here. Negative 4 and then negative 6. So it is in this point here. Let's label V. Now this portion here is our 4C. Which is equal to 5. As you can see in the form... So, we will divide both sides by 4. Therefore, our C is 5 over 4 or in decimal that is 1.25. So, from the vertex, we will count 1.25 units to the right. So, that is from here 1.25. Our focus is this point. And that point is 1, 2, negative 2.75, negative 6. Now our directrix is also 1.25 units from the vertex, but it is in the other direction. So it's here. So we will just have to make a line. Passing through that point. As you can see, this line passes through the x value, negative 5.25. Therefore, the line of our directrix is x equals negative 5.25. Now, our line of symmetry passes through our vertex and our focus. So we'll just have to create this line here. And this is negative 6 in the y-axis. Let's just fix our points here. So our axis of symmetry is y equals negative 6. Now let's get our latus rectum. The formula is 4C, but we will just get half of it. So, it's 2C. 2 times 1.25 is 2.5. So, from our focus, we will count 2.5 units. 
So it's this point here. It's one, two, three. So our first point is negative 2.75 because it is in line with the focus. Negative 3.5. And the other one is 2.5 here below. So that point is again in line with the focus. So that's negative 2.75. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, negative 8.5. And now we will simply connect our endpoints of the lattice rectum going to the vertex, forming a curve here. And this is our final graph. In number 2, as you can see, our x is raised to 2. Therefore, all terms with variable x should be placed on the left side and the rest will be on the right side. So from positive, it became negative 24 and then we just copied 51. In here, 5 is a common factor so we'll take it out. What's left is x squared and then 30 divided 5 is 6 and then we will just copy whatever is in the right side. Now we are ready to complete the square. Before that, we will copy first the following. Focusing on our middle term, 6 divided 2 is 3. 3 squared is 9. Don't forget to also write it on the right side, but there's still 5 outside. So we will add 5 times 9. We are now ready to factor this. It's x plus 3. Again, that is 6 divided to 3. And then 24y, 51 plus, this is 45. So that is 96. Now we can still factor the right side because there is a common factor which is negative 24. So we will take it outside. What's left is y and then 96 divide negative 24 is negative 4 then we can divide 5 to both sides to get our final standard form and that is quantity x plus 3 squared is equal to negative 24 over 5 times quantity y minus 4 now, looking at our standard form, it is similar with this form. That means to say our vertex is in HK, where our H is positive 3, but in the form it's negative, so we'll make it negative 3. And then our K is 4, and our parabola opens downward. So, I will plot first our vertex, negative 3, positive 4. So, it is in this point. I will label this one V. Now, let us get the value of our C. Remember that this portion here is our negative 4C. So, that's negative 4C is equal to negative 24 over 5. Now, we have to divide both sides by 4. So that is negative 24 over 5. We'll make it into multiplication and we will reciprocate 4. So that is positive 24 over 20 which is equal to 1.2. That means to say that we have to count 1.2 units downward to get our focus. So 1.2 here. So it's in this point. 1, 2.8. So this point is negative 3 and then 2.8. Now we will still be using 1.2 to get our directrix. So from the vertex, we have here 1.2. So it is in this point. And then we just have to create a line passing through this point. As you can see, this line here 
passes through 5.2 in our y-axis. Therefore, our equation is y equals positive 5.2. Now, let's get our axis of symmetry. This is a line that passes through the vertex and the focus. So, it is this line hitting negative 3 in our x-axis. Therefore, our equation here is x equals negative 3. Let's now proceed on getting our latus rectum. Again, the formula here is 4c, but we will just get half of it. So, we'll use 2c. And that is 2 times 1.2 is 2.4. So from our focus here, we have to count 2.4 units. 1, 2, point 4. So that is this point. That's negative 5.4. And then this point here is... Same with the focus, so it's 2.8. And then the other one is, let's count 2.4 units here. So it is in this portion. Now that is negative 0 0.6. And then same with the focus, it is in line with 2.8. Now we'll just have to create a curve here connecting the endpoints. And then the vertex. So this is our graph. That is all for today. Thank you and see you on our next video lesson.